The U.S. State Department says North Korea's nuclear issues and broad South Korea-U.S. alliance will be discussed during an upcoming trip to Seoul by one of its officials, though there was no mention of Seoul's proposal of an end-of-war declaration. That matter could also be on the agenda. Kim Dami fills us in. North Korea's and nuclear issues and broad as hard Washington alliance matters are the main topics on the table when U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs Daniel Crittenbrink visits Seoul on Wednesday. He'll be in the South Korean capital for three days following his trip to Tokyo. There was a no mention of SARS a proposal of the end of war declaration. Instead, the State Department spokesperson Nip Press said on Monday, Pyongyang's missile and nuclear programs will be covered. And regarding U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan's recent remarks that possibly signaled differences over the end of war declaration, Press noted that U.S. officials see eye to eye with their South Korean counterparts on ways to achieve denuclearization. Meanwhile, North Korea reportedly continues to run its key uranium plant, suggesting steady growth in the regime's stockpile of uranium concentrate used to develop nuclear weapons. This is according to satellite imagery gathered between April and October by Beyond Peril, a project run by the Washington-based Center for Strategic and International Studies. As mentioned by the IAEA several times previously, it shows that North Korea continues to put pressure on the U.S. by producing nuclear materials and weapons at its maximum. The think tank added that the plant remains the regime's sole verified producer of the nuclear material. It said that the dismantlement of the plant should be essential component of any meaningful, complete, verifiable, irreversible dismantlement nuclear agreement between Pyongyang and Washington. Kim Dami, Arirang News.